What's happening my friends? Welcome to Dawn's Adventures. I'm your host Don Gregorian. Today uh, is 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to everyone. And uh, I'm out here. We're gonna be doing some ocean fishing. I already did some lake fishing so I wanted to switch things up. Uh, I'm still waiting for the tide to rise. There's about uh, we're just two hours from low tide, so I'm waiting for the tide to rise just a little bit so we can get better access to the fishery I'm trying to go for. But meanwhile, I just got here. It's pretty early. I'm going to make a little bit of breakfast and head out there and start fishing. Let's do it. I got my stove with me. And I don't even, I never carry a lighter anymore, guys. I just carry a flint and a steel. This is the way to go if you want to avoid just using lighters and risking uh, the lighter to be out of butane and all that stuff. Just go with a flint and steel. Works every time. We're going to toast some bread. All right, we got our bread nice and toasty. Let's turn this down just a little bit. Put some butter in there. Some Kerrygold. Crack an egg in there. We're gonna make some fish tacos today, guys. I got everything we need to make some fish tacos. We just need to get the fish. So, shouldn't be that difficult, right? <laughs> Uh, the species we're going for is obviously some croakers, uh, corbina, uh, halibut of course, but uh, everything's on the menu. Uh, even rockfish, I would love to eat a rockfish. Tacos don't discriminate, guys. But I'm just happy I made time to come out here. I thought it was gonna be super busy today because it's 4th of July. But there's literally nobody out there. I'm like the only one out here. It's crazy. There, There is a little bit of overcast, but that's supposed to clear out around 10 a.m. So, Okay, that's good. These propane stoves are like so hot. It's insane. Let's put some cheese on that. Oh, that's gonna melt in no time. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this uh, Weber garlic and uh, garlic and herb seasoning. I don't usually use salt if I'm using seasonings because the seasoning already has salt in there. Put the cheese back in the cooler. Put some sriracha put in the comments who you who put sriracha on the eggs guys I don't eat eggs without sriracha I put sriracha on everything literally and some mayo these 
these two are a must. Just a little healthy toast sandwich. That's going to get us going for the day. Uh, I'm probably not going to eat lunch unless I catch fish and I'm hungry. Otherwise, I'm just going to I'm just going to wait until like in the afternoon time. I'll be here for a while. And I'll make some coffee later on. Because I know I'm going to run short on energy being out there fishing the entire time. So we got everything ready. We are fully prepared for this. There's my gorgeous egg sandwich. Let's enjoy that. Put this stuff away. Yeah, that flint, guys, that flint and uh, striker. That's revolutionary. So many times on so many occasions. I didn't have a lighter. For whatever reason, I forgot. I'm not a smoker, so I I forgot a lighter. And I, and I was, it was right around the time when I was going to cook. And I realized I don't have a lighter. There's been there's been a couple of times where I had to go scavenge for a lighter, and I found a, a lighter that didn't have any butane in there. But you can still use that the striker, the little flint thing in the lighter to start the fire, because all you need is spark to light those guys up. Well, anyway, it's looking beautiful out there. Water's coming up. And I'm getting energized. Let me down the sandwich. I'll tune you guys back in when I start fishing. Okay guys, let me go over my setup real quick. So you guys know when I'm what, what I'm attempting to do, what my goal is today. So on this rod, the long one, the long skinny one, that's a good rod for casting out. And it's a lighter rod than this big water. What I have on that is a dropper, it's called a chicken rig or a guppy rig or a dropper loop, double dropper loop. So what it is, is you got the weight on the bottom. It goes up to a hook. And as you can see, usually there's two lines coming out. So what I do is I cut one of the lines and I make it into a single, single line with a improved clinch knot on the hook. And another hook there, and then it goes up to a swivel. And that I'm gonna rig with squid. I brought a little bit of squid with me. However, the goal is to catch small bait on that one. Even though you could catch a huge fish on your um, dropper loop setup or on your chicken rig, it happens. But the, that's not the goal. The goal is to catch small fish with that because I have small hooks on there. And those are circle hooks. Catch the small fish. Use the fish while it's still alive. Use the fish to rig on to this guy, which is, uh, I rigged a, it's called, this is called a fish finder rig. What it is, is you have a weight on top where your leader is and that's a free floating weight there's a that weight is not tied anywhere so this weight could move about on your main line and the, there's a bead and a swivel the bead will stop the weight from clashing into the swivel and destroying your knot so that weight that uh, bead protects your not and then you have the swivel and then you have the leader i have a heavy leader comes to a pretty gnarly hook right there i don't know what size that is but it's a pretty big hook so the goal is to catch a small bait fish 
rig it onto the fish finder and get it out there and let that fish just swim around in the surf and hopefully something big picks it up. So we are fishing for large species today. However, we could get some other types of fish on the chicken rig as a bycatch that we could do a catch and cook on. But the goal is to get a guitar fish, maybe a leopard shark, whatever it is. And obviously I won't be able to land the big boys from here because it's super uh, steep. So I would have to walk them down all the way to the beach over there and land them over there like I did with that guitar fish as you guys saw and I did with the cow nose, cow nose stingray and all the other big stuff I get over here. So that's the goal. All right, enough talking. Let's get fishing, I'm super excited. So, we put on a tiny bit of squid on each one of the hooks. There's a weight, two ounce, bank weight. Tiny bit of squid with the hooks exposed. Tiny circle hooks. Make sure the drag is not too tight. What the heck guys? Fish on already? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? What the heck? Guys, and this is a this is not a small fish. Holy smoke man! Are you kidding me? We gotta keep them off the rocks, that's for sure. What is that? Is that a bass? I think it might be some kind of a bass, guys. It's a calico bass. Guys, it's a calico bass. Look at that. Guys, check that out. That's a calico. It's it's either a calico or a or a kelp bass. It looks like a calico. Perfectly hooked. I don't want to touch him because he's going to tear me up. Perfectly hooked on the side of the jaw. That's unbelievable. Um I'm going to see if it's a legal size or not. Otherwise, I'm going to release them. Guys, this is only 13 inches. They have to be at least 14 inches to keep. So we're going to go ahead and release this guy. Yes! <laughs> what a start, man. All right, let's do that one more time. All right, here we go, rigged up again. Perfect. Perfect location. Almost exactly the same place. I'm not even going to put this down. 
That was crazy. That's the luck of the first cast. So we'll see what happens. I'll tune you guys back in. Quick update guys. I haven't gotten anything since that first initial burst. So my arm kind of got tired from cast and retrieving. I just put the rod down and I got a bell on there. So I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm keeping an ear on it too. But yeah, nothing yet. But it's a beautiful day out there, guys. Let's go. Oh, take those guys out. Surfers from the future. Man, look at that. They're like gliding. You guys probably can't see that, but it's one of those gliding boards. I don't know how it works. But they're literally just traveling across the ocean on it. It's like a surfboard that glides on the water. It's not even touching the water. Anyway, I'll tune you guys back in when I get a nice hit. So guys, I've decided I'm gonna move. This place is not producing ever since that one initial first cast one we got, the calico bass. I'm not getting anything here. I think it's a little too rocky and my setup is more for surf fishing and the water is too clear it's too clear and it's too calm and i think the visibility is too high so with that heavy line i don't think i'm gonna have any success here unless they're unless i'm coming across like a super aggressive fish like a bass so i'm probably gonna move down towards the beach area like a sandy beach area and do some surf fishing from there I do have a rod holder in the car, a uh, PVC pipe, where I could use uh, to uh, put my uh, fish finder rig. So I'll put that in the fish, find the fish finder, I'll put that in a rod holder, and meanwhile I'll do some active cast and retrieve fishing with this uh, uh, chicken rig. Okay guys, so just going to go ahead and move. New location guys. New location, first cast. The goal is to get it all the way at that rock. The rock that's sticking out. gotten a little bit this way. I was gonna get snagged. I threw it completely in the wrong place. Oh, he got out.
I can't believe we got that out. Wow. And no casualties. Everything looks good. Except the bait came off of this guy. Let's rebate that and get it out there real quick. Okay, I'm gonna try it out one more time. Nice croaker, guys. Very nice croaker. Uh, there you go. Beautiful croaker. Pretty good size, too. Very good size, actually. Right on. So sometimes all it takes is just changing the location. You know, I had in mind, there's just not enough turbulence in the water over there where I was fishing. So I was like, let me go to a spot where there's more turbulence, less visibility. And we scored. Circle hook, right in the corner of the mouth, barely hooked. That's right. So we got something to cook up, but I'm gonna get it while the getting is good. So let's go ahead and, oh, let's go ahead and rebate, get, some, get a couple more.
was a good, good size move, guys. I got a leopard shark. <laughs> Guys, I got a leopard shark. Look at this bastard. Huge one. Like 20, 22 inches. Not huge, but 22 inch leopard shark. Look at that guy. Hook right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that. He's slapping himself in the head right now. He's like, why did I take that? Let's release him. Let's unhook him and let him go. Legal size, legal size for leopard sharks, guys, is 36 inches. shark has been successfully released guys guys I had to go change the batteries on the GoPro and I just moved up a little bit I was right there on those rocks but the water kept coming up so I just moved up just a little bit and I got a nice platform where we can fish the same area but with a better casting range New battery, new location. Oh, and I dropped off the big, the big, uh, the big rod with the with the fish finder rig. I dropped it off at the car because there's no point of having that. I got too much action on one rod. Let's go. Very good cast. The only trick. The only trick is that I have to jump down there in order to land the fish. Or I could just pull it up. We'll see. Yeah, that's the only thing. Otherwise, oh. It's got a hit. Otherwise, it's a really good location. We're getting some good fish guys, we're getting some good fish, everything has been pretty above average so far. Fish on! Yeah. 
Fish on, guys. This one doesn't feel as big. It feels like it's a croaker. Yeah. But if it's not too big, we could use it as bait. Uh, actually, that's pretty good fish. <laughs> That's a very good eater. That's a very good eater. Perfect size for eating. Sweet! Guys, pro tip. So, let's say you forget to bring your stringer, right? And you got some fish, you don't know what to do because you need a stringer. You get some fishing line, you get some thick fishing line, put it through the fish's mouth, Okay. You make a dropper loop on one end. Boom. Now you have a loop. You take the other side. You take the other side. You put it through the loop. And you let it go. And you just pull. Now you got yourself finger tied up right there perfect all right just keep fishing guys I'm gonna wrap it up with fishing I'm exhausted I'm sunburnt <laughs> another one the first big one I got that I take it up to the car so we're gonna go ahead up uh, to the car and we're gonna do a little cookout make some tacos hang out all right see you guys up there all right my friends let's get on with the cooking because I'm literally starving I ran out of energy that's the main reason I came back Nothing like fresh fish. Seriously. There's one fillet. can see through it <laughs> that means you've done a good job okay now let's get rid of the pin bones and the skin let's do the skin first and then we'll do the pin bones there's a very nice delay and there's the skin Croakers have like really big scales. Very trippy. They're pretty hardy fish. You wouldn't expect a fish that small to have such tough scales. There's the other one. Now the pin bones on a croaker they run along this bloodline. So, if you could locate that bloodline, you could locate the pin bones. So, for 
I don't think it runs that far down. It's not like a trout. It like runs 60% down. Yep, that's it. Just gonna make sure there's no bones. No bones, no surprises. And then we'll wash out the flay. And I'm also gonna cut out that bl bloodline, guys. You just cut in between it and remove it. There you go. So there's no fishy taste at all. Same thing. Cut above. Cut below. That should do it. There's that bloodline on the other side. That's gonna make a good taco right there. I'm gonna wash these out real quick. So we got our fillets rinsed off guys. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this Weber garlic and herb seasoning. So we're gonna chop up our, uh, our ingredients now. I got an onion, I got a avocado, I don't need that much onion, so that's good enough. So just like that. Perfect. Alright guys, let's go ahead and spark this up. I got my taco platter that holds the tacos in place. That's the coolest thing I bought. I, I literally looked for it for like a whole day. Couldn't find it anywhere. like a charm first things first we're gonna go ahead and toast up our tortillas check this out guys salsa verde no taco is good unless you got some green sauce especially the Victoria one my favorite Let's go ahead and toast up the bread. Look at that perfect browning, guys. I browned it up perfectly. And, I, and as soon as it's, whenever it's super hot and it's malleable, you squeeze it in between these things and it takes its shape just like that. And it'll stay there. Perfect. Squish it in there. Now we're gonna add some peanut oil. Just a little bit. Okay, the pan is nice and hot. Here we go, listen to that sizzle, guys. Make sure you move it around so it doesn't stick at first. Oh man, that smell of garlic, the herb and garlic smell is incredible. Look at that guys. Amazing. Peanut oil is one of my favorite things to cook with. Really good.
just drops right in there guys drop it right in perfect shut that off Let's add our onions. And then we'll put our avocados. I like to put the avocados the same shape as the bread, the tortilla, just like that. Super artistic, like that. We're gonna add a little bit of cheese. Of mozzarella. Finally, <sighs> almost threw my back. Jesus, man. Um, it's all time. I'm not gonna go straight with the bottle because I know I'm gonna over overdo on the green sauce, but. I brought a spoon for this exact reason. Nothing like catching fresh fish and making a little meal for yourself and being self-sufficient. You have to be. With the climate of what's happening today, guys, it's time to step it up and be self-sufficient. Whatever that means. Now, let's sit down and enjoy this, man. Check that out, guys. I didn't forget anything, did I? Nope. We got everything. Hmm. That's amazing. But the fish is amazing. Again, that garlic and herb seasoning is just on point. Wow. Incredible. Delicious. You guys saw how simple it is to catch fish. Just bring a little bit of bait with you. If you don't, if you don't have any bait, you can bring a net. And there's sand crabs in the surf. All you have to do is dig up some sand crabs. You can use sand crab as, as bait. Onions complement the fish very well too. Well, I'm gonna enjoy this last one. I don't want to talk with my mouth full. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully, you you learned a thing or two about the setup and the type of hook and. All that stuff the distance super simple um, 
I enjoy all kinds of ways of fishing. I could have done cast and retrieve way with the plastics, but I like to change it up. I like to hone my skills with different setups. Get an idea of, get a general idea of where the fish are, what kind of fish there are. Um, what is that? Is that a sail? Yeah, it's a sail. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you liked the episode, please press like. I'm actually trying to get to a thousand subscribers, guys. I'm at, I'm at 800 and some change. If you guys would be kind enough to press the subscribe button and help me get boosted, I would appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, put a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. And uh, until the next time, guys, fish on. <laughs>